In this video, we'll demonstrate how you can use 3D printed molds and tooling for prototyping and short run production of vacuum form parts. Vacuum forming is used to produce plastic parts for uses ranging from product packaging to automotive components. The process of vacuum forming is quite simple and requires four basic elements. A mold or tool that will create the shape of the final part, a sheet of plastic, a heat source, and a source of vacuum. The sheet of plastic is heated as evenly as possible until it becomes soft and pliable and is brought down onto the mold or tool. Vacuum is applied and the part is allowed to cool before being removed from the mold. 3D printing is a great way to create vacuum forming molds and tooling due to its speed, low cost, and ability to produce a wide range of geometries. Fine features like text or surface textures are time consuming to machine, but simple to add to a CAD file for printing. In this case, we're going to use the Formlabs Form 3 printer and high temp resin to create some quick vacuum forming molds. Formlabs high temp resin has an HDT or heat deflection temperature of 238 degrees Celsius, high enough to hold up to the elevated temperatures of vacuum forming thermoplastics like PETG and ABS. There are a few tips and guidelines that you'll want to follow when preparing your mold parts for 3D printing. On the Form 3, support structures are used to support the part during printing. While these support structures are minimal, it's best to keep them off the critical surfaces to reduce the amount of post-processing required. We've set up our mold parts in Preform to have supports on the underside of the mold, where it won't affect our vacuum forming process later on. Now, all that's left to do is to send the print job to the Form 3. A few hours later, and our mold has finished printing. After a quick wash and cure process, our mold is ready for vacuum forming. When you're ready to vacuum form your parts, you can treat the printed parts the same way you would a traditionally fabricated tool. Simply load the tool into the vacuum forming machine work area, heat the plastic sheet until it softens, then draw it down onto the part and apply vacuum. Now that the plastic is cooled, we can remove our vacuum form part from the tool. Most vacuum formable plastics can be easily trimmed, either by hand with a sharp knife or using a machine tool, like a router or a mill. With proper care, 3D printed vacuum forming tools can last for dozens and dozens of parts. To learn more about mold making with 3D printed parts, please fill out the form on this page.